the satellite receiver. So some people may have bought a low end, maybe $40, $60 satellite receiver off online, decided to get in the free to air hobby. The only thing that's the problem with some of these receivers is that they don't always have the North American satellites all programmed into it. So you have to manually enter that. So I have this uh, free sat. It's basically similar to what the GT Media uh, satellite re uh, receivers interface is like. So I got one of these. So I'll, I'll show you how to enter a satellite and, and a transponder so you can scan in uh, TV channels. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and remember to click on the bell for notifications of when I may have a live stream or new videos. And also be sure to check out the videos tab because there's lots of information about uh, satellite, free to air and all sorts of technology. A lot of the time I have to search my name in YouTube just to reference back to some of the many videos that I have created. I've deleted Galaxy 19 for, the, for this demonstration. So I want to add a satellite. So. You'll see the little dot on the screen to add what you want. So I'm going to put in 97 and this is an alphabetical, not QWERTY. I'm used to my alphabet and being in the QWERTY style now. So I'm going to call it 97 West W and put a space and make sure that I have this down as KU band and hit save. Now, another thing, if you're going to run USALs, uh, Universal Satellite Locating Automatic thing, uh, you'll want to put it in here as well. So make sure you put 97 and make sure that it's set to west because we're in the western part of the hemisphere in North America. If you're on the eastern part, like if you're in India or UK and places like that, it probably would be eastern satellites. There, I've added the satellite to the list. It will be at the bottom of the list. So that's another thing is when you're doing this, you might want to set up your satellites all in order. So you want, might want to go from like your 55 West C-band and then go along the arc that way. So you have it all in order. So by default, it puts it to C-band, but you don't want C-band. I want KU-band. Now I have a linear KU-band LMB that is a standard uh, input. So this is the frequency I need to set it at. Other LMBs that are universal, you'll want to have it at 10600 or you may have it at there you go. 9750 10600. One of the two will work. But for this LMB that I'm using on this dish, this is actually a Shaw Direct uh, satellite dish. It was port 2 no 22k and no motor so there we go now you can blind scan and this will work because i know the satellites there or you can manually enter a transponder so i'm actually going to back out of here are you sure you want to save yeah and i'm going to show you how to manually enter a transponder so this is for if you're setting up your first ku band satellite dish and you want to get the first uh, satellite then what i recommend all right, so what I recommend you do is go to this website here called linksat.com. I'll, I'll have a link to it in the description of this video, depending on where you are at in the world. Now for North America, you find this column that says satellites and America, and it will take you to this list of all the satellites that you can get from the Americas. It pretty much covers from 61 West all the way to 139 West. So on all the, a lot of these satellites, um, some of them don't even have channels. Some will have a whole bunch of channels and then others may only have just one or two channels. So I'm gonna go to 97 West, which is Galaxy 19. And you can see all the channels here. At the top of the list, it will show all the C-band channels with this uh, four digit uh, frequency. That just means you need a large satellite dish probably to pick that up. Okay, so I always recommend this global cast satellite that carry or this global cast transponder that carries the rt channel because i've just found this to be one of the stronger transponders on that satellite so you're going to enter in this frequency and this symbol rate now on most receivers you don't need to enter the dvbs and the 3-2 fec if you have one of the cheaper ones most of them you just have to enter the uh the transponder frequency and the symbol rate and it will do the rest and the polarity 
the one thing you got to remember is the polarity. So if you go to this, there'll be no transponders. So if you click the back button on this uh, receiver, other satellite receivers will have different things to get to the transponder. It'll be one of the menus. It's uh, just satellite or back uh, on this uh, meter that I'm using. So I'm going to add a transponder. You'll find that with the red button. And so I'm going to add that transponder that I was looking at on Galaxy 19, which has the Russia Today MUX. So it's 12152. 152. There we go. The symbol rate is 2000. And it's horizontal. So you just... There you go. And so there's the signal quality. It's about 40%. Mind you, it's a small dish that I'm using, but it works. You can click on the scan button and it'll just scan in this transponder. And I'm just going to say OK to that. And there you see the RT channels and everything. There are seven channels on it. Now, these things will re read low. And that's just the software for telling you the SNR and all that. It doesn't actually say SNR for the quality. So sometimes you're getting the best possible quality. And that's the thing with these cheaper uh, receivers and meters. It may read low, but it's actually coming in just fine. It's And sometimes that's all in the software for the unit. So we'll do a blind scan of Galaxy 19. I'll show you how to do that. So now that we got that first transponder in, let's do a blind scan. It may be off frequency when you do a blind scan. That sometimes is what happens. And a blind scan. I'll just scan it in here. Now, the interesting thing we'll all see here is if it will actually scan it on the right frequency or not. Because sometimes it will scan and it will be slightly off frequency by a bit. Now, if you want it right on frequency, it might make it better for aiming a dish. And just programming all these uh, transponders and frequencies manually. So there's positive TV, which is a movie channel. So this, I'm, I'm actually picking up all of these channels using a Shaw Direct dish, which is a bit smaller than what I'd recommend, but it does work. And it's very similar to if you're a former Orbi TV customer, you could use an Orbi TV dish and re-aim it at Galaxy 19, or you could re-aim it at 125 West and get the PBS channels, or aim it at 103 West and get the NBC Cozy NHK and channels like that. So it says it found um, 119 TV channels and 46 radio channels. There's quite a lot of uh, radio uh, backhauls on the Galaxy 19 as well. There's also a smile of a child, which looks like it's showing Veggie Tales in there right now. There's positive TV showing movies. So when it did its blind scan, it actually changed the frequency a bit here where you can see it's like 19999. So that may happen at times when you're when you do a rescan, just so that you know. So if you don't want to enter in each satellite, get an Amico. An Amico will have all the North American satellites all set up for you. So and with uh, at least one or two of the transponders, so you can set up your satellite dish and get your system going. I highly recommend the Amicos. It may be a little bit more expensive, but it'll save you a lot of time in the long run for entering in all those satellites manually. Please check out freesatellitetv.net and also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes, all sorts of things for your free-to-air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. So check out some of my other videos where I've discussed the uh, that uh, all the satellite channels that are available. And also check out uh, linksat.com and also tvrosat.com for any updates of the North American satellites. And also check out my Facebook group, which is over the North American Free to Air group over on Facebook. You can check out my website, which is freesatellitetv.net and get connected uh, through that as well. And if you'd like to donate myself and my channel for the work that I do, you can do it at Patreon or just click on the link for PayPal donate and enter like a million dollars right there into the, into the donation thing there. And I'd be very happy to accept that to continue working on videos. If you would like to buy one of the Amico satellite receivers. There'll be an eBay link in the description of this video where you can find that. And also, if you'd like to uh, follow my work, click on the bell notification so that you'll be notified when my latest videos are being uploaded.